Hey, what's up, guys? Brett Mix here from Macho Wrestling 101. We're continuing the Royal Rumble anthology today with the 25th anniversary of the Royal Rumble. We're going to be reviewing 2012's installment. So, uh, sit tight. Uh, I just want to say before we get going, if you like my videos or if you like anything else I do, uh, I don't have... Please subscribe. It help my, it'll help my channel get off the ground. I don't have the fancy equipment right now, but I got knowledge from three decades following the business, and I think it's going to come out in the videos that you'll see. I know what I'm talking about, and uh, yeah, but, but I want to have a, I want to have an audience. So if you could help me out with any with that in any way, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, but let's get to the 2012 Royal Rumble and not waste any more time. All right, Daniel Bryan defended the world title against the Big Show and Mark Henry in a triple threat steel cage match to open the Rumble. Talk about talk about uh, starting the Rumble with big matches. Last year, uh, the year before, I just reviewed this. Edge and Dolph Ziggler was were in a world title match to open the pay per view. Now we got a triple threat cage match for the world title. They kept this one uh, relatively short. In the end, uh, it was Daniel Bryan who uh, escaped the cage and retained the title. It was to the point, it was pretty much like a standard cage match. I'm just reading my notes because I have my notes written down in, in, on a different website that I reviewed before, and I watched the Rumble, and then I meet, my, I meet in between from my latest review and my written review. I meet somewhere in between to grade the matches. I gave this opener two stars. Uh, they did what they could, but it was too short to have it to get anything really going. Up next, Alicia Fox, Kelly Kelly, Tamina, and Eve took on Beth Phoenix, the Bella Twins, and Natalia. Uh, this this one was just thrown together. Uh, Kelly was booed by the male audience when she got in the ring, and they were trying to push her. Uh, it just didn't work very good. This is a time when Eve and Kelly would get no reaction from the crowd. Um, at least they kept this short. Uh, I gave it a star for effort. John Cena took on Kane next. Uh, Kane and Cena went at it. And uh, every time these two go at it, it seems like they can deliver something. Because Cena... Cena and Kane are uh, two ring veterans. Uh, they know the, how to work a WWE-style match. Um, in the end, they uh, were had a double count out at the 15-minute mark. They kept them both looking strong, and the action wasn't too bad throughout, so I rated this one two stars, three quarters. Next, we had a dud. Brodus Clay versus Drew McIntyre. I'm not going to get into that since it didn't even it matter. CM Punk took on Dolph Ziggler for the WWE title. This is the second straight year Ziggler would wrestle for the world title, lose, and then appear in the Rumble match. And only the third time that's happened in history, as Kurt Angle in 05 was the other time. When he lost a triple threat to JBL in the big show back at the 05 Rumble. Uh, what I liked here about Punk... The hitting the elbow drop on Ziggler is this is eight months after Macho Man died and the big Randy Savage chant was loud and clear. Uh, Punk retained in the end. But I give this match three stars. It was still the best match of the night so far, but uh, they could have done better. The main event is the 2012 30-man Royal Rumble match. We're back to 30 men after the experiment of 40 last year. I, I liked that Rumble match, but I understand why they went back to 30. This rumble had uh, mid spots of the commentators all going in: Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, Booker T. Booker T. But uh, it was really focused around Sheamus. They had a couple of surprise return uh, returns or debuts, like Karma, Road Dog, um, in addition to the King and Michael Cole and Booker T. Mick Foley was another one. It started with The Miz and Alex Riley. R-Truth, Cody Rhodes, Justin Gabriel, Primo, and Foley were the first seven. Ricardo Rodriguez came out in Alberto Rio's car. And he gets a wedgie in the match. Santino Morella comes out for a comedy spot. And him and Mick Foley do the Battle of the Cobra and Socko. Kofi Kingston is out next. And he uh, had a great 
walking on his hands, standing tall, doing handstand from one staircase to the next, stayed in the, in the Rumble match. I think the King on commentary says it's the greatest thing he's ever seen. Um, the King would know about these Rumble antics, hiding under the ring one year in 96. Um, Ezekiel Jackson, Jinder Mahal, the Great Kelly were the next entrants. Hunico, Booker T, Dolph Ziggler, Jim Duggan, and Michael Cole were the next ones. So Jim Duggan was also a surprise entrant. Sheamus Road Dog after Karma. Jey Uso makes his debut in the Rumble. And he's just a small guy at the time, Jey Uso. They, they said he was the son of Rikishi, so they weren't hiding that fact. Wade Barrett, Otunga, Randy Orton, Jericho, and the Big Show are the final entrants. Uh, this Rumble match had a good pace to it, but it wasn't anything special. I gave it three stars. Uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just sort of meh, as Sheamus and Chris Jericho were the final two men, in the, and they had a decent climax. Longer than usual, but n not like 2007 with Sean and Taker. Overall, I give the event a 6 out of 10. I think it's kind of being uh, fair. It wasn't terrible or bad, but it wasn't great or fantastic. It was somewhere in the middle in the good section. An average to good. So that's the 2012 Royal Rumble. Uh, it could have had a stronger undercard, and I feel it, some of the matches really brought it down. There wasn't anything classic on this show, but it was still a fun show to watch because the Royal Rumbles always are, for the most part. All right, so that's the 2012 Royal Rumble. We'll see you in the 2013 Rumble. Like and subscribe. If you want to help out my channel, Macho Wrestling 101, I'm Brett Mix, and out. Until next time.